Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Want to learn how to play midfielder? Well, just watch this short little video and learn some tips and tricks. When you're playing midfield, you just gotta assume that everyone knows where you are, which is why you can use your position to bait out and you'll know where the pass will go. For instance, like if I have a teammate covering like that station right there, well, that's not station, but like down there at that station, and I'm sitting here and hiding, I know chances are he's not gonna throw mid or right tube because there's a guy sitting there, right? Because like in his mind, the further away from that guy he can get it, the better. And the furthest away is this tube, okay? So like the second you see him wind up from behind the block, which is something you just gotta learn to look at. Because um, when, someone's, when someone's winding up, you know, they, they do this motion, right? So once you see that motion behind the block, it makes like the, the white lines when it's in their hand. That's when you should push out of the block and go into that spot you're covering. In worst case scenario, if he throws it like trench, and like, I mean, there's going to be other factors, of course. Like, if there's a guy trench and there's no pass in left tube, he might throw it like left trench instead, which you would jump low instead of left tube. But you gotta, my, my point is you gotta know where everyone is in the arena, especially as a midfielder. So then you would just push out when he does his wind up. In worst case scenario, you can just push off the block and go where the pass is. How to stack faster. How to stack faster? Um, stacks are always going to be faster with one hand stacks. Um, besides that, you just want to go with someone that is low ping. Um, Asai. Knowing the person you're Sick. stacking with and stacking with them a lot. Parent right practice. Too. Official Clex. Said. Do you just yeah. move hand faster? Um, sort of, but, you know, if you move your hand super fast, they only have so much time from when they pull to get in front of your hand. And if there's a lot of ping, then that just extends that amount of time. So let's say you're, like, you're pulling like this. You're just going to end up grabbing the person that pulls through you twice and going slower. So you really got to find the balance between the amount of ping and the speed of your pulse, which is why it's a lot of practice with a certain person, like Oculus Hater said, and just learning what ping will pull at what speed. Backwards boost helps with that. Yeah, it does. Backwards boosting is good because it, it closes the space between like the, the person's body and the hand. Because instead of it being like a pull from back here, which is their body, to your hand up here, it'll be a pull from like here to here because it's your hand and this is their body. And it just goes back and forth between us. But it's hard to boost fast with anyone. Even if you're a good booster, it's hard to boost Official fast with anyone depending on their ping. Said. What about parallel boost? LOL backslash backslash backslash. Ah, <laughs> uh, parallel boost. It's just OP. Uh, if you use it, you win the game. You already know. In my opinion, parallel boost is kind of stupid. Said. It's meta. Is it though? Is it though? Um. Probably the biggest tip I can give Official is flex. overall that I feel Seth. like a lot of people don't I wanna take try advantage it. of is. When you're trying to steal the disc from someone, one, you have two hands, so don't just like put both your hands out Caesar at the disc. Dash. Put one hand where Set. the disc is going to be, it's and then punch with the, the other hand. Behind the back right? boosting. And then, um, you always want to put, instead of trying to put your hand like where the disc currently is, you got to know how the person throws, and that helps a lot. Because if you know someone throws overhand, then their, their arm is going to take the same path every time, right? So if they're throwing overhand, put your hand in the middle of that arc of their throw, and you, you'll you get the disc a lot more than trying to spot the disc, like if they're holding it here, and go straight at it, okay? Because most of the time what's going to end up happening is they are no, they're going to know you're close to them, right? So they're going to try and throw the disc, so you're going to go for the disc, and they're going to do their wind-up, and it's going to be pulled away from you. When you can just know that they're going to do their wind-up, put the hand in the middle of their wind-up, and then they just give it to you like that. Um, yeah, 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 I feel like those are some pretty good tips. Don't mind my amazing shooting. NXT underscore beast said, that's why it's easier to take it from my teammates. Smiley face. Oh, yes, of course. Um, let's see, what else is, what else is important about midfield? Really, midfield is just about game sense. Official Clex said, "What about double backwards boost?" Double backwards Wait. boost? No. 
No, no, no. Honestly, normal boosting is always going to be the best. Maybe not by speed, but definitely by accuracy and just like. Caesar dash. Actual skill. Sit. Midfield is use your brain. That's about it. Pretty much. Have a big brain. Always make sure. Don't be afraid to look behind you. When you're covering people, when you're playing man coverage, especially when you're playing midfield and trying to pick a pass. Because what defenders do is they'll try and move away from your coverage, right? So you gotta make sure that you stay you stay on them. Or what I like to do, what I find is easiest is, let's say you look behind you and you see that someone moves, right? Well, if you know that they're not moving far away, you can stay in the same spot and it'll help bait that pass more. So they'll be like, I'm moving, I'm open. And then the passer's gonna see, oh, the pass Rosie moved, Hope. it's probably open now. And you can push Set. out for it from the same spot. Ayo. But you gotta know. Rosie, official clicks. Said. Clear and boosting good or bad. Eh, it depends on the situation. Caesar dash. Said. Depends. Yeah. If you, um... I wouldn't rely on clear and boost as a QB strat. But let's say if your teammate gets a pick and you're close to them. Or, um... Like, if you're near a teammate and they get a pick. Then clear and boosting can work really well. But I would say only do it if you're like in a really bad spot and you can't get open for a pass.